Hey, my lovelies, I hope you're all safe and well, and Halloween and so when, blessings to you all. Um, I've had an amazing day so far, so I tend not to do very much work on Halloween. I try and have it as like an official day off. I've done a couple of um, email readings this morning. If you're still on the list, if you're still expecting an email reading from me, then it will probably be tomorrow or over the um, coming sort of following days, I will get those actions, but I'm nearly back up um, in terms of all my orders. Um, but I've had a lush day today. I went for a beautiful walk at the um, Alfred's Tower and in the woods with my little man, Oscar. And oh, it's just amazing, isn't it, being in the woods? Because it's literally like, uh, well, it's nature's temple. It's literally nature's temple. And it was it was busy, but like it wasn't the car park was really busy. But when we were in the woods, it was just literally me and Oscar for, for most of it. So it was lush. So I feel very grounded, very at peace and just been giving thanks to the universe and um, really honouring my Halloween, I suppose. So obviously, um, for those that sort of celebrate Samhain, it is the witch's new year. So it's a very important time to give thanks, to recognize our beautiful ancestors, our loved ones within the spirit world. But it's also a really important time to manifest and almost put those wishes on those um, goals for the year ahead. So I thought I would show you how to do a very quick um, tarot spell uh, because tarot is one of the ways that I work in magic quite a lot. So I wanted to sort of try and show you this. So bear with me while I see if I can turn my camera around. So what we've got here, oh, excuse all the mess behind, but as we look at the table, so what we've got, I'm using, I'll just show you here quickly so you can see. So this is like the witch's um, will. So you can see Sawen at the top there. So this is literally what we're on today. And I'm going to start it from here and go round the Sabbaths. And what I've done is literally... So the, do you see the death card was on Samhain there? And we literally go around the board. And what I've created and put is a crystal for each, okay, and a card for each. And that represents not necessarily what I want to come in at each stage of, of the Sabbath, but what I want for the year ahead. So death is like the doorway of endings. It's the honouring of ancestors. But it's the beginning stages of change. It's the recognition of something brand new. Um, so I'm not so then basically you've, you've set it out like a sort of clock going around. So then I've put up here at the top, you'll see here the sun and we've got rose quartz with that. And the reason I have put the sun there is I just want to instill and bring in lots of happiness, lots of positivity, lots of amazing energy throughout this year to come. We've also then got the three of cups. And again, I've put rose quartz with this and three of cups is all about fun, laughter, connecting with great friends, family members, people that really enrich your life and enrich your heart. Then coming around here, I've put the Ten of Cups in. Now, Ten of Cups is really important, and I've put that with Citrine. And this is all about abundance. I would like emotional and physical health abundance for my immediate family, my friends, my loved ones, and myself. So this actually feels like really, really important because there's been some health sort of scares within my family recently. Then as we come round, I've put here, um, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is all about welcoming in um, financial abundance and financial prosperity. And I've put that with um, Angel Quartz Crystal, which is very powerful. Then we come round and we have the Ten of Pentacles, and I've put that with um, Tiger's Eye. So Tiger's Eye is a very good protective stone or crystal. And this I see is like getting the balance right between my work life. There's this real misconception that people that are spiritual can't have the spiritual kind of abundance as well as the, the materialistic abundance. And I really feel with this card and with this card, you can have both. We work hard. I work hard. I should be allowed to have both. Definitely. Then as we come up around the side here, I've put the two of wands because I want to keep working and keep stepping out of my fear um, barriers and I want to keep seizing opportunities. And again, I've put that with Smoky Quartz because Smoky Quartz is really good to help ground and conquer and overcome fears and anxieties. 
And at the top there, I've put the world because the world is all about adventures and I want to keep exploring, keep having adventures, both physical travel adventures and just the connections and the experiences that come in from spirit. So I've put that with blue lace agate because blue lace agate is a very powerful stone for communication. Now in the center, the center part of this spell is about making a wish. So we have the star card and the star card in tarot is all about dreams, hopes, wishes, realizations of goals. And I've put that with a piece of clear quartz crystal because clear quartz is a massive amplifier to just help that. And then in the middle, we've got a beautiful candle. Now this candle is actually made by one of my um, friends. So it's got extra love, extra magic within it. Now, so that's the actual setup. And if you don't have a table to do it on, you can literally just print one of these off of Google and you can do a similar format and you can set it up as you want to. It doesn't have to look swish. It doesn't have to look fancy. It just has to do what it has to do. Now I've been meditating with this candle for a while. Um, and I've set the intentions of what I want. You'll notice underneath there's a tin, which is actually like a camper van. You probably can't see it too well, but it's actually a camper van tin. And my wish is that I actually would really like um, in 2025 to own or to have a camper van. I know a lot of people have said, oh, set up a GoFund page, but I don't want to do it like that. If I was going to do it, I'll just spin you back around a sec. Hang on, let me just, uh... here we go. If I was going to do it, I would want to do it properly. I don't want to do it through a GoFund page. I want to be able to afford it properly and to do it properly. Now I'm taking a spell from, let me just find the book. It's 300, oh I'll quickly spin this around, sorry I'm spinning away aren't I? The book here, so it's 365 tarot spells and it's a really really cool spell this one and I'm doing like an adaption of it basically. So the spell is, is for the Halloween time period. So I'll just read the incantation to you. So obviously when you feel ready, when you've set this, you literally just say the spell and really believe like it's happening. So it's not just about thinking, oh, I would quite like this and I hope it's happened. Really set that intention, really feel like the energy is coming good, is coming true. And it just says here, Death and life intertwined, like a vine around me, you wind. Some say ticking clock, our time will come. I say life's a game and I've won. Not because I'll outlive everyone, but because my life has just begun. So might it be. And then I like to use a little bit of witch's dust. So for me, just to complete the spell, I take a sprinkling of, um, oops, if I can get it out, he says. I just take a sprinkle, I can't get it. I just take a sprinkle of witch's dust and then I focus that intention and I make a wish. Oh, that wasn't very good, hang on. Let's see if I can get a bit better of the witch's dust. Let's put a bit in here. Okay, so I really think about what I'm sort of wanting as my outcome, make that wish, set that intention, and then throw the witch's dust on just to complete the spell. That's better. And the spell has begun. So it's just a little cheeky, easy one to do. And what I'll do with this altar now, I will leave, I will leave this set up for the whole evening. Um, I'll actually open the curtains because we're on a new moon cycle. So the new moon energy can come in through the curtains. I'll let the candle burn right down. And um, yeah, my intentions for the year ahead have been set. So that's just a cool little spell that you can try if you would like to. So I'll leave it with you and um, have a cool one, whatever you get up to. Take care, my lovelies. Bye for now.